Yes, they have their classic outfits. Let's see what comes with the default ones. Um, okay. No, not, never, never. Maybe sometimes. Nah, sort of weak. Possibly. Hell yes. Okay. That that's a hell yeah. That's a yes and a hell yes to these two. Oh, uh, hell yes. No thanks. No thanks. Maybe. Hell yes. Hell no. Nah. Oh hell yes. <laughs> right. Uh, let me go back. Let's see Billy. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Billy's gonna get maybes from me across the board. Damn, purple Billy. Everyone, I like it how all of Southtown can all have, like, purple outfits. Yeah. Unfortunately, no crazy zombie skin, right? No undead Geese Howard. I, that which is a personal, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, here's the regular costume. Dang! Stars and stripes on this one. Holy heck. Uh... This one's good looking. That one's awesome. Holy, holy hell. This one's great. This one's great too. Yeah, the last three of, of Billy's I think look uh, fantastic. And then uh, Yamazaki. Oh, I was wondering if the coat was gonna change color and it does. This one though. I need all red Yamazaki, damn it. Oh, it's not in here. This one's crazy though. I need Yamazaki completely wearing red. You know, that's a classic reference. Uh, how about this one? That's sort of the damn. It's the Joker again. Wow, wow. All right, not bad. Okay, so um, let's try to go over uh everything Geese has sort of had in the past and what he can do now. Let's see if uh he's obviously got double Repuken. Repuken. These are fast. This is fast, man. Okay. All right. Uh, how about the EX? Okay. Uh, that combos. Okay. Let's try uh, his uh, Rekkas. You coward. Uh, flip. So. Okay, he's got a light confirm. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's try. Uh, yeah. Let's try also air fireball. Shipuken. That's me tiger kneeing it. He can do it from a short hop, but look at this. I'll short hop back, and then do it. And he like hops up, up back. Whoa! A lot of air time. Lots of air time. And even if you jump forward, his forward momentum doesn't carry. How about with EX? Oh, oh man, they gave him a, a proper Akuma air fireball. Um, okay. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's next? Let's check out the uh, big versions of these moves. Okay, that's heavy. Let's try it with the kick follow up. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see if I'm missing anything there. So that's all I remember on Geese. Maybe he has new stuff. So, uh, down kick, and he's also got uh, EX versions. So, let's try that. Uh, there we go. Okay. That leads to a proper crumple state. Okay. All right. It would be like, uh... That combos! Okay! Wow, so he gets it off lights. He doesn't even need to go into forward LP to do it. He just gets it. He's got the sauce. Um, why am I not getting it? Uh, is it, uh... Maybe I have to do heavy? Yeah, I think I have to do heavy here. Ah, uh, there's the grab. Dun -dun. Damn, that looks great. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. All right. Uh, jumping attacks. Jumping light should probably cross up. It, you, from what I remember. There's this one. Uh, sweep is still cancelable, obviously. So that's obviously the hook kick. Yeah. 
That doesn't go in anything crazy. But that does work from it. That works too, okay. Oh, oh buddy. Oh buddy. Uh, 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 uh. Jeez, okay. All right, things are working. He did, this is his overhead, right? Yeah, this is his natural overhead. Trying to go into grab or something like that? Yeah, that still hits OTG. Does he still have Shoryu? He do. He do. He do. Wow, okay. Wow. Wow. That's a that's a ground bounce. This is actually uh fairly similar to another uh Howard. There's another Howard that has a very similar combo structure. Oh, I can't special cancel this hook kick at all. This is mostly for confirming. Interesting. So you mostly want to do stun into you bastard. Cool. Is hook kick considered airborne? Uh, maybe. Wait a minute. It goes into grab? Yeah, fireball, nothing's working. But if I do his command grab... Is that a legacy thing? Okay. Good to know. I, I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. Well, there you go. That's a 14 thing. Cool. Cool. I don't- I definitely didn't remember that nuance, that's for sure, man. Uh, let's just try the normal thing. Wow! Oh, man! Uh, just change the, uh, change the routing a little bit. And it still works. Ugh. Uh, oh, oh, I might have lost the juggle point. Final Rapuken! Predictable. Now let's try the thing that's interesting. Oh no! I was hoping it was gonna be like rock and it would lead to uh, something insane? It just leads to a bigger chunk of damage, it looks like. At least it looks that way. Fireball Super. Uh, Bigum Fireball Super. That does a bit of damage. The sweet juice. Oh, damn, I love this super. Die forever. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, you lose it 60%. Although that was a lot of meter, <laughs> right? With this one. Oh, okay, so he has the completely different repost. Bam, okay. So his counters don't lead to follow-ups like rock, right? His counters just lead to uh, raw damage, just complete raw damage. Oh my. Oh, it is comboing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Scaled uh, to holy hell. The reward for EX mid or regular mid is very good. Right? So that's punches, right? Uh, there's kicks. It seems to be just a, like a raw overhead. Um, no ground bounce, just hard knockdown. And let's try this. And there's the sweep. Ooh, that works. I mean, that certainly works. Oh, 
Might be new music. <laughs> this might be like a rival theme. Huh? It is actually a command grab. It's a command grab, dude. It almost looks like it's frame one, right? Uh, let's fire up Yamazaki. And we'll try to get some basic understanding of how this guy works. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm personally pretty happy with the results of uh, Geese. I'm pretty happy. It feels like he retains a lot of the stuff that made him fun in the previous game. The only thing that he technically doesn't have is the ridiculously, like, insta-KOing uh, counter grab into level three, you know? Uh, that doesn't seem to be as nearly damaging because just meter and the way meter works in this game is just generally different. You wouldn't want to use it as that as much. Ooh. Okay. All right. So that's still, that's still there. It looks like forward light kick is the combo extender. It is, yeah. Does he have a... Uh, uh, yeah, is this two hits? Nope, one hit. Cool. You know? Basic, basic old school confirm. Oh. So to press jab after. Okay, so a jab works. Yeah, there you go. Good call. Yeah, cool. So uh, you can do, uh... Ah! There's definitely something there. That's really fast. That's... I don't know, to me? Was that as fast as that was before? That is fast as... Fast as F, boy. Dude, that's fast. <laughs> cool. Some cool looking stuff. And it looks like something could even happen there too, right? Oh, 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 let's go. Very fun. Uh, so that's command grab. Bombshell bada bing. Right? Looks great. Badass! Dang, that's badass. That's badass. Cool. Right? There we go. There's something there. You get sand afterwards. He still feels somewhat familiar to his KOF, uh, his KOF 14 self in some ways. Maybe a, maybe a slightly more amplified version of it. Big toss. That's the one you definitely go into level three, four. So many, so many hit effects. Holy hell. That's awesome. That's a big animation. So the toughest part I think I've seen so far is the fact that comboing off, off of lights with Yamazaki it's a little tough. Because you have to do uh, Shoryu forward dust. Right? You have to be really close for this riser to hit, right? You got to be like right next to him. Damn, that, that laugh lasts a very long time. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing and I'm like, yo, what? I think we saw both of these, which just led to two varying degrees of poison supers. And then his climax. Fireball back half circle forward. Ah! 
Neat. Neat. He beats you over with a chair, right? Gets to the chair. Well, that one actually might be my favorite, right? That one actually might be my favorite. Damn it. And here's level one. Interesting. Right. Interesting. It all looks extremely painful. Oh, he has different- he has different items. They are random. He has a sign now instead of a chair. <laughs> the traffic cone! Barely got it. Crazy shit. There you go. There's the there's the big boy Yamazaki stuff. I know very little of Billy McBilliamson Kane. Uh, I know very little of how this guy operate. So I'm gonna need your help on this one. Let's go through some of the basic moves that he's got. That's a that is definitely a far C. What? What? I'm doing down C in the air and it's it's leading to a very unique situation. Is it a cross up only? Wow. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Billy doing Billy stuff. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! This is definitely that's a command normal if I've ever seen one. Right? Okay. What would you want to do to get them into this situation? There we go. Oh buddy. Sorry. I think if I can hit him after. Definitely do get a hit. It's a juggle. Dang. He's making things way too fast. 2A to see the range? Yeah, it goes from about right here. Not bad. Is it cancelable though? Not cancelable, though. And not, uh, not rapid fireable either. Uh, close C, forward B, quarter circle back AC. Uh, uh, uh. There it goes. Yeah, the timing is just a little a little fast, right? This is scary as hell. Right? This is super scary. Oh man. That's a very 
Big ass far CDs. Oof. Wow, yeah, that is a that is a fantastic confirm. It happens just really late. I think I'm starting to see it. It's like it's very late. You know, something like that. Let's see what it goes from this. Oh, come on! That's a very cool level three. That's somebody, that is the coolest thing Billy has ever done. <laughs> I think that's going to just about conclude it, chat. That was the uh, pretty much the end of our two hours with uh, Team Southtown in the King of Fighters uh, 15 DLC. These will be out, as we saw in the trailer, uh, not very long from now. They're going to be out just next week. Hopefully you guys got a better understanding of what everyone can do as a result of this quick little breakdown. Uh, we tried to find some pretty cool stuff, at least with Geese, as well as Yamazaki. My apologies on Billy. Uh, Billy's a definite, very weird character uh, for me personally. I haven't played a lot of them, but at least you got to see a little bit of what he sort of can do. Um, he's going to be a poke monster. That jumping CD and his standing CD are crazy, and his shatter strike is absolutely ridiculous. So... I'm very excited for Geese. I'm very excited to see what people find with Geese because these probably aren't optimal routes by any means. There's probably some better usage of uh, meter, but it seems like Geese might fulfill the end spot of a team uh, a little bit more than the others. It feels like it. So, all things considered, uh, I'm pretty excited about Geese's eventually, eventual release, um, which is coming up next week. And we might put a little bit of time into Yamazaki, right? Yamazaki feels like a genuine difficult to use character in this game and uh it seems like it seems like he has some really fun stuff right although he does he is absolutely shades and reminiscent of his kof 14 self in a lot of ways just maybe a bit a bit more usable you know in some ways but um yeah yamazaki's always been a hella fun character you just gotta take some time to get used to all of his crazy stuff